this video, I'm going to show you how to get access to the bonus assistive devices project. So I'm in my Microsoft Teams class notebook in the content library first cycle, bonus assistive devices. So if I scroll down right here, here's the bonus assignment. It has two steps right here. One, logging into your Tinkercad account. So I'm going to click on the first link and it should automatically log me in. If not, you may have to add, enter your nickname again. And here's my game piece design that I created, but in this project, it's gonna be something different. Now that I have this opened, I'm gonna go back into my Microsoft Teams account, and I'm gonna then click the second link. So when I click on the second link, it's gonna bring you to a project of the bottle cap. And so what I can do is I'm gonna take this bottle cap, this, if, this was, if this was 3D printed, it would fit any normal water bottle. I'm going to click Tinker This, and what it's going to do is it's going to automatically copy that bottle cap and put it into my work plane, just like a regular project. And so what you're going to do is you're going to design a bottle cap that makes it easy to open for people who need assistive devices. And so does that mean you add components to it? What you don't want to do is try to avoid making this bottle cap really big, really small, uh, tall or skinny, you want to try to keep the bottle cap locked in place. If you accidentally resize the bottle cap, you can press the undo button several times until you get back into the correct uh, shape. What I would suggest is click on the bottle cap and click the little lock button right there. When you click the lock button, it locks the bottle cap in place. The only downside to that is I can't really move it anywhere. So there's some options for you. Once you do that, right now it's called bottle cap, you can erase that and call it something else. And that's how you access the bottle cap for our final design project.